Welcome back to the channel, Bitcoin Hyper here, back again with another video. In this video, I will explain you how to trade divergences using squeeze momentum indicator strategy. At the end of the video, I will also show you an indicator that finds divergences on squeeze momentum indicator automatically. But should you be using it? And also, divergence strategy on squeeze momentum indicator works in forex, stocks, and also in cryptocurrency market. But before this video starts, leave a like on the video down below. It only takes one second. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss more forex, stocks, and cryptocurrency trading strategy videos that help you trade profitable and with confidence. And now let's get straight into the video. First of all, I would like to explain you what a divergence actually is. So in trading, we have three types of divergences. We have regular, regular divergence, we have hidden divergence, and we also have exaggerated divergence. I would also like to notice that I only use regular divergence in my trading strategies. Why? Because it's the most profitable one and it's also the type of divergence that uh, usually works out. So, as you can see, we have uh, we will also look at regular divergence here. So we have bearish and bullish divergence. Bearish divergence means that the price will most likely move down. Bullish divergence means that the price will actually most likely move up. So, when the price is making higher highs, but the indicator that you are using, in this example we are using squeeze momentum indicator, is making lower, uh, lower highs, that means that we are in a bearish divergence and the price is most likely diverged, that means that it will go down. But if the price is making lower lows, but the indicator, in our case squeeze momentum indicator, is making higher lows, that means that we are in a bullish divergence and the, the price will most likely move up. So right now I will show you some examples uh, how you can uh, use divergence strategy on squeeze momentum indicator and how can you implement it in your trading strategy. So we are right now on one hour chart. I already added um, squeeze momentum indicator on my chart. If you haven't already, uh, check out my first video about squeeze momentum indicator. It is popping up right now at the top right corner of your screen. So after you watch this one, watch this one because this is a little bit more advanced than the first one. So first one, uh, first divergence for, for an example here, as you can see, the price is going down. That means that the price is making lower lows. The price is going down. But on squeeze momentum indicator, we have those waves. We are going to trade with those waves, divergences. So we have, as you can see, first wave and the second red wave right here. But the uh, waves are actually getting smaller. That means that this is a low, but this is a higher low. That means that the price is most likely going to diverge. So as you can see, we have a nice pull up right here. And also you need to uh, pay attention to those crosses right here. When we have gray crosses, this is when we want to enter our trade. So if here, for example, would be uh, only uh, black crosses, we wouldn't enter this uh, divergence uh, trade. So you would only enter a trade when we see gray um, crosses on the squeeze momentum indicator. So as you can see, you would make nice profit here uh, on this divergence. Let's check some more examples here. This is pretty much the same example as before. As you can see, we have the price is making lower lows, but these waves on squeeze momentum indicator are actually making higher lows. That means that we are in a divergence, uh, bullish divergence. And also we have gray crosses on here. That means that the price will probably go up. And as you can see, it did go up. Let's look at some more examples on one hour chart. As you can see here, this is a different divergence. This is a bearish divergence. The price is making higher highs, but the indicator is making lower highs. But here, guys, pay attention to this trade right here. We have black crosses on the squeeze momentum indicator. That means that we would not enter this trade. That means that we would not um, 
make any profits here because as you can see here the price also jumped back up and that's I mean the price wasn't in a squeeze because squeeze momentum indicators actually indicates us squeeze we weren't in a squeeze that means that we should probably not enter this trade because the move would not be uh, that big but the move was pretty big here but this indicator didn't show us that so yeah we would may, uh, miss some trades but I mean what can we do here uh, also we have uh, here um, divergence but as you can see here we also have ra uh, black crosses on our squeeze momentum indicator the price was making higher highs and also the indicator was making uh, lower highs but we have also um, black crosses on our squeeze momentum indicator that means that we would not enter this trade let's look at some more um, let's look at some more on one hour chart as you can see here here this would be a losing trade guys as you can see here we have uh, the indicator is making lower uh, highs on the squeeze momentum waves here but the price is making higher highs but pay attention to this we have gray crosses on the uh, squeeze momentum indicator that means that we would enter a trade but the price moved up that means that this would be a losing trade because we would probably use a stop loss and uh, we would get um, cut off so uh, like I said in my first video if you haven't checked it out check it out it's on my channel uh, we also like to use wave trend indicator using this strategy so you can use wave trend to determine the actual trend of the market so let's now look at some examples on the five minute chart let's switch to five minute chart if you like to sculpt this strategy is also great for this let's go on the five minute chart let's go here for example here uh, this is pretty much recent price action on bitcoin right now as you can see price is making lower lows that means but the waves on the squeeze momentum indicators uh, indicator are making higher lows that means that we have a divergence also great crosses here yeah the price went a little bit up but then we it jumped that means if we would enter on this candle right here we we would already be in profits um so as you can see yeah it's not exactly perfect entry but uh, as you can see you would already be in profits and you could take some profit right here let's look at some more examples on the five minute chart and then i will show you an indicator that actually draws um, divergences automatically here as you can see we would also have a divergence this would also be a profitable trade as you can see the price higher high higher high lower uh, lower high right here on the uh, squeeze momentum indicator the price went down okay so now actually i'm going to show an indicator that draws and shows you where divergences actually happen let me uh, go to indicators here and you need to type exactly what i will tell you type in squeeze momentum divergences divergent divergences exactly like this if you want to type exactly like this sometimes it doesn't show up so you need to type exactly like this click on it and i'm going to remove this um also as you can see here that i draw here we also have here um so this age here that means that this is a hidden divergence we would not like to trade hidden divergences because they are not the most accurate ones so i'm going to remove it you can actually go to settings right here and you can remove a uh, hidden bear divergence la uh, label here hidden and hidden bull also uh, remove those ones and we will on only have a line here but uh, the indication h here is uh, disappeared so we are only trading on r here that means regular divergence as you can see regular divergence right here it's, it went down regular divergence up here a little small one but it also it uh, counts because we have gray crosses it went the price went up also here regular divergence yeah you would enter here and i mean this would probably a, be a losing trade because the price moved down and if we would have a stop loss uh we would be um our trade would be closed also here regular divergence this was perfectly one because we have a gray uh plus um Cross here the price went up so also guys why I this indicator is not perfect either and why because it has some kind of lag that means that this R only shows up 
after the divergence is confirmed. So, what I mean by that? We have R on this um, on this uh, stick, I mean on this line right here, but this R actually showed up uh, when we were already in a divergence, probably somewhere around here. When we the price was somewhere around here, this R showed up. That means that we would actually not uh, be in a perfect trade. So if you can um, learn how to draw divergences uh, by yourself on this indicator uh, and not actually use this one because it has some kind of lag. I'm going to show you the lag right now. If we go on a daily chart and let me switch to candles right here. So for example here, let me actually remove the drawings. So we have a regular divergence right here. It shows R right here. But I will show you when this R actually um, showed up here. If we go on a replay and for example on this uh, line here, let's click play. As you can see, we already have this line and the R is not here. That means we need to wait and boom, now we have it. That means for example, one, two, three, uh, three uh, lines, it lags. That means that if you can guys uh, draw uh, divergences on your indicator by yourself because you can actually uh, spot them much much faster than on uh, than this automatic divergences indicator because this indicator is actually waiting for a confirmation yeah it's good to wait, wait for a confirmation but you can sometimes miss uh, the trade so that's pretty much it for today's video guys thank you all guys for watching if you haven't already smash that like button down below subscribe to the channel and peace out